Hello, it is Sunday, September 9th, 2012 at 3.26 a.m. Central Time. I want to show you something that I'm seeing here on College of DuPage. This is El Paso, Texas, the next rad loop. Um, we're looking at 200 image loop. Let's see if we can get about, oh, it's through about 8.03, starting at, seven, starting at 17 UTC in the 8th. Anyway, <laughs> this is crazy. Um, you can see everything's highly active. I'm not sure what all these outlying areas are, but notice how everything's pulsing in here. And particularly right near the Doppler, right after the Terminator beam goes through, you'll see these little, little ping pong thing going back and forth, or at least it appears to go back and forth. I'm going to let this run through one more time. I'll, I'll switch over. But also after that goes, you'll see right in here, there's a um, highly active area. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can zoom in on this or not. Let's, oh yeah, there's a zoom. Although when I do this, I usually mess myself up. No, it's not going to let me. But right where this little road comes out he here, right there. I'm going to go over to Google Earth. Here's the Doppler that we were just looking at, that dark area. And you can see it right here at the airport in El Paso, right here. Actually, you can usually find it by the shadow. Notice the round shadow on the tower. And I'll show you. This is something actually I saw quite a while back. But, but our next rad loops weren't so interesting back then. Um, notice coming out of at a diagonal here, we have railroad tracks. And excuse me for taking so long to do this, but I'm having to use my zoom in the hard way. I want you to notice that there's two sets of railroad tracks here. I just did a video about railroad tracks going over a river. See here, there's, there's two sets of railroad tracks. And you can follow these up. And I'd sing to you <laughs> while we're waiting, but now you don't want to hear me sing. Um, we're going to... Yeah, my mouse is sticking too. So the, the railroad tracks move up here. And here's... And when we were looking at this, there, there's kind of a line that went off this way, not too prominent, but still showed up. And where that road was, was in Las Cruces. You can see it right here, the 359, it looks like. And this was that little other little pulsing area. And what I found was another airport. I'm not sure, maybe this is an air base or something, I don't know. And what is down here a little further. Oh, we also had a um, wastewater treatment plant, it looks like. So we have little ponds of water around. And then also, I hadn't seen one of these yet from the Google Earth. This looks like one of the little solar energy things. I don't even know the right name for it, but um, so these are obviously being affected by the Doppler too or the energy transfers. I mean, what I think we're seeing is energy being transferred. I'm going to go back over here to College of Page 2 after we kind of let you see here where we're at. Of course, now we're tilted. My computer's whirring away. That's what usually happens when they're tapped into me, but that's all right. Um, so the railroad tracks runs here, Las Cruces is up here, and that little flashing point was here. Let's go back over here and take another look at it. So here's where that Doppler was. Here you can see the little red line going up and down. And here's where this part's agitated up into here. Along with everything else, though, it looks like 
I don't know, cat trying to get out of the bag or something. Actually, it looks like it all went gray there for a minute. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, it did. Let's go back. Right there. See that? So I'm not sure why it would switch to all black and white. Um, that was um, September 9, 2012 at 741 Universal Time. And that's it. So, well, hey, wait a minute. Let me show you. Here's the United States. We also have some kind of odd thing coming up here out of Portland. Looks like a fountain of storms just spewing forth, as well as a storm coming in here right north of Brownsville. And of course, this system with the tornadoes just kind of going off of the coast now. And oh, also up here in Michigan. I'm not sure what that's doing. And here's a close up of New Mexico. And most of the action actually happened previous to this, but we still have these highly agitated areas. And I suspect these are wind farms, but I don't know. So there you have it. God bless you. Have a good day.